Well, what we have to understand is the African economy is the last frontier of the world economy. What it means is uh, there is no place in this earth where you can have as much growth, economic growth, as you're seeing it in Africa nowadays. We're talking about minimum 6 up to 12% of economic growth. There's no place in the planet where you have, can have that. That's first. Second, uh, in terms of return on investment, it's a high return. Uh, when you invest, you get much more from your investment in Africa than in any other place in the, in the world. Um, the, the population is quite young, and you do have an emerging uh, middle class. We're talking up to 200 million to 300 million, depending on the criteria, uh, which means that you have a market that is just opening wide. Um, and I think investors do understand that. I mean, you're seeing them coming to Africa, and uh, it's a good place to be for the future. Well, I, what we are seeing now is a very uh, lot of improvement in terms of the rate of educated people in Africa. Um, so literacy went up. You do have, you know, superior, um, high, higher education that is also uh, that developed over the past years. So you do have an improved skills uh, set in Africa. Uh, so now you can start thinking about um, services. You can think about ITs, technology. You can think about different sectors, of course, tourism and others. You do have many countries that don't have mineral products, but uh, there are still open opportunities there. Uh, telecommunication is one huge area is also where business can, uh, uh, can be made. Um, let alone uh, agriculture. 60% uh, of lands are completely free. Um, in Africa, meaning they are not exploited. So it opened up a huge avenue for agriculture, modern agriculture. And you know that we are having a lot of tension in the food market. So Africa will be also, um, you know, a next place where uh, a lot can be done in terms of improving agriculture. I'm here in Morocco talking to you, and Morocco is grabbing this opportunity. Senegal want to do that also. Um, and of course, we would like to do that with foreign investors. We have to also solve issues relate, related to, to, to land. Of course, it's not about selling all the lands. It's about finding a good legal framework so investors can invest in security, but also the people uh, can have access to the land. Um, so these are various sectors in which money can be made. Uh, but we have also to understand that it's not going to be business as usual where you're going to come and because, because you're strong, you're going to impose on government, that era is gone, past gone. So the investors that have the most chance to succeed in Africa will be those who are very open-minded, who can speak on an equal basis to African government, um, and those one uh, will succeed. But if they come with the old patterns, there's no way they're going to succeed. And now the market is open and the offers are various. We're talking about you know, China, we're talking about the BRICS, uh, India, Brazil, or Russia. Uh, so now we can, we, can, we can do our shoppings everywhere. So it means that our traditional friends have to be also uh, more competitive and uh, uh, the government, of the African government also have to watch over their own interests. That's what they're doing now. So the situation has changed and people also must know that and uh, sort of revise the way they look at Africa. I was talking about Senegal, actually, which is the context I know best. What Senegal has done over the past uh, two years and a half is to revise what we call the legal framework and the legal environment for business. Um, we are going to be uh, uh, having a lot of progress in terms of the, the, the ranking uh, for the best, one of the best economic environments. Um, we have changed the laws uh, related to many sectors. Um, the anti-corruption uh, policies is effective. Uh, we are working on having, uh, you know, a, a tribunal for business, so you can have a chance when you when you have a when you have a case in the tribunals. Uh, we are bringing much more modernity in the in the administrative processes 
uh, so people can get their goods out of ports very quickly. So a lot of reform uh, going on um, and I believe also that social stability for Senegal is one of the greatest assets. As you know, we have never known of a coup, the democracy is functioning, um, so that also must be appealing to investors. So uh, that's uh, the, the message I have for investors um, in different sectors. We do have 800 kilometers